okay, we're gonna do a week of skincare. <laughs> Cause I feel like it's good to see like every step that happens because it's very situational. Not every Monday is exactly the same. It's Tuesday. I don't know why I started with that, but whatever. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> so I just finished filming this like grungy Valentine's Day look. The sad truth is a lot of the time, especially on filming days, I do my makeup, I immediately remove it because I got other to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I wasn't wearing sunscreen. So I want to wash my face so that I can apply sunscreen so I can take myself on a walk outside like a real human being. My name's Alex, by the way, <laughs> if you're new to this channel. Uh, do me a favor and do all the things, liking and subscribing and commenting and whatever. Um, so I'm gonna start off by removing my jewelry. Okay, so when I wash my face after doing my makeup, I wanna be super gentle because technically this is the third time I'm cleansing my face. Not an ideal situation. Uh, I'm gonna be putting on these little guys so that it doesn't drip all over the place. These I think, who sent these to me? First Aid Beauty? They're all like bleached and stuff now. I'm gonna go in with a cleansing balm, which I think is the best because I'm wearing waterproof mascara. Um, this is the one from Elemis. El Elemis. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I actually don't love it. It kind of like has this weird, what do you want to say? How do I, how do I say? Menthol-y kind of feel on your eyes, which I don't like, but I'm gonna, it's a cleansing balm. It's fine. It works. Um, it's definitely not the best one that I've ever used, but it does feel nice when you first like touch it. So there's that. So I'm gonna place this on dry skin and really, really, I use too much probably. <laughs> really, really break down my waterproof mascara. I work this into my whole face. I did use a lip stain today, so this probably isn't gonna come off. So I make sure to coat my whole face and then I'm gonna go in and do really light, gentle circular and then back and forth motions over my lashes to break down that waterproof mascara so that I'm not doing any damage. I don't wanna be rubbing my eyes too hard because it can hurt. The menthol -y feeling of this cleansing balm doesn't like sting in my eyes, but it is like a little jarring. So if you have very sensitive eyes, I definitely would not recommend it. Going in with my makeup eraser to get the edges before I go in with um, like a real cleanser. But I'm gonna be using a really gentle cleanser uh, from Aven. So for my cleanser, I'm gonna be using this. This one, I'm not gonna say it because it's French and I, I can't pronounce French. So I really don't use this that often. It's actually a leave-on cleanser. It's something that you're supposed to apply with like a cotton pad and just like leave on. I don't do that. I use this as a very, very, very gentle cleanser when I know that I'm gonna be washing my face multiple times or two or more times than usual, you typically on like filming days. Cause it's just incredibly gentle. So I rinse it off like the center of my face and then once again, going in with a different side of my makeup eraser. Okay, I bought this new sunscreen. I'm gonna give it a shot. This is SPF 60, which I was excited about. This is Soleil Toujours. Uh, it's water resistant, up to 80 minutes, SPF 60, anti-aging sunscreen, I don't know, whatever. I saw it on Sephora.com and I was like, I'm a sucker for sunscreen, so I'm gonna give it a try. I swatched this <laughs> last night and it looks really oily, so I'm just going straight in with this to see if this will work as like a sunscreen replacement moisturizer type of deal. That's an interesting scent. Definitely has a little bit of a white cast. You can see it, I'm like pretty fair, so I don't know, I kind of feel like these brands, like the mineral sunscreens, it's just really, really tough if you are like even light medium, you know? <laughs> Shit, dude, it feels really oily. I 
I don't know. We'll give it 15 minutes and see how it does, I guess. <sighs> okay, yeah, it's pretty oily, which is very annoying. It kind of feels like it's just gonna sit on top of my skin. The reason I'm doing this, the reason that I am just going in with sunscreen is because it's already like 3 p.m. or something. I wanna go for a walk and just kind of like be outside. I didn't need to do my whole like skincare routine. That's why I wanted to use something that was gonna be more hydrating, very hydrating. Um, but I wanted sun protection, obviously, for the rest of the day. And uh, now that I'm not gonna just be sitting in my studio with studio lights, uh, and I'm basically gonna be repeating the removal process that I just showed you. So cleansing balm, and then that very gentle cleanser, because tonight is a retinol night, or a retin-A night, a tretinoin night. <laughs> so I'll show you that application when the sun goes down. Quick update on that sunscreen. Um, definitely still oily. I can feel it when I touch my face. There's oil all over it. Oh, you probably can't see that. Oh, maybe you can. It's all oily. I don't like it. Definitely left quite a bit of a white cast too. Surprised that my lip stain came off a bit. Anyway, um, yeah, quite a white cast, but it's fine. You win some, you lose some. Um, I'm about to do, I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So cleansing balm and then that gentle cleanser. Out of the shower, um, I try not to wash my hair more than like once or twice a week. So I wear a shower cap. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. My face feels really dry right now. Um, so on Wednesday, it's tretinoin night. Uh, I'm gonna be using tretinoin 0.025. However, my original prescription was for 0 0.06. Um, I have two of these. I have these both. I was kind of like trying to see which one would work best for me. Uh, I use tretinoin three times a week. So I've been toggling between these. I've been using these, uh, this one Monday and Friday and this one on Wednesday. So that's what we're gonna do. But I like to take care of my eyes and my lips first. So I have this Medicaid liquid peptides serum so i put like a really tiny amount of that like barely a pea size um and i put that around my eyes to begin and on my lips once that starts to absorb i put a really tiny amount of the skin fix barrier cream also around my eyes and on my lips pretty small amount just like that much for a little hydration. And I take this up to my eyebrows. And I finish those with a little bit of Aquaphor healing ointment. I like to go in with an ointment like this, very small amount, same thing, um, to protect that area. So kind of like lock in all that moisture and protect that area from the tretinoin. Uh, because tretinoin does travel and no matter what I do, <laughs> even if I don't put it anywhere near my eyes, it irritates my eyes. So this is to hydrate and protect and I do this all around like the perimeter. So again, like up to my eyebrows and I make sure that I'm taking it like in here around my nose. So if anything goes on my nose, it's not going to like mess with my eyes. You may remember that when I was filming um, videos in the past, I would have like very dry eyelids and under eyes. I think this is helping. So I do the same thing with my lips. Now I'm going to apply a pea-sized amount of the tretinoin. And they told me to apply it to all the areas that you feel bone. So that's what I do. This might have been too much. This one's nice and gentle though. So, so I'm going to dot it these areas of my face, the bone of my nose. I pretty much focus it on the outer perimeter and then just kind of like move it in a little bit once I have like my forehead and the outer perimeter of my face pretty much covered. So along my jawline, it does absorb like relatively quickly, but again, tretinoin travels. So I'm placing it in the areas where I like want it the most. And then I'll just kind of like pat like around my chin, this part where my like teeth are. 
Now when I use tretinoin, um, it can be very drying. So I always, on the nights when I use tretinoin, go in with my Skin Fix Barrier Cream uh, over top to keep it well hydrated. So what I do is it's a little pump, keep it nice and sanitary. I'll do one pump, kind of focus it on my fingertips. And I go in with this first in the area where I didn't really apply the tretinoin. So in the center of my face, around here, around my mouth, all the areas that are really sensitive to make sure that I'm not like mixing, you know, moving the tretinoin too much. I don't know if this like does anything, but it makes me feel like it does. So using a really light hand, bringing it out a little bit, and then I'll go in with another pump. And now I'm gonna do the outer perimeter of the face along the jaw, forehead, eyebrows are already hydrated. I try not to take this too far down my neck. I'll just do like this, basically like underneath the jawline because tretinoin really irritates. Like the skin on your neck is just way too sensitive. And then sometimes whatever's left over, I'll just take it up behind my ears because this is a bone. <laughs> the last thing I do for my body is apply the Advanced Clinicals Retinol Body Lotion or whatever this is called, Advanced Firming Cream. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and that will wrap up Wednesday night. It's Thursday. <laughs> um, it's about 12.05. Uh, this is not ideal. Um, I think I got maybe like, maybe, maybe two hours of sleep last night collectively. It was just, I'm not gonna get into it, but I just, I feel like ass. So um, I just didn't have the energy this morning to film. I was like, I can't. Uh, I think I got out of bed maybe around like 7.30 this morning and the first thing I did was I just rinsed my face with some warm water because I used tretinoin last night and I applied a tiny bit of my Aven Clean and Hydra moisturizer. Um, that was a while ago, obviously, because it's 12.05. I went and edited a video and then fed the cats and had breakfast and this is not, not ideal, not ideal to be waiting this long to put on sunscreen, but <laughs> it happened today. Uh, so now I'm ready to, I'm like finally feeling like kind of a human. <sighs> so basically today, uh, since I edited a video and scheduled it already, um, I need to work out. I have a meeting at 3.30, kind of gonna be doing like random shit in between that. Um, I might go for a walk, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be applying sunscreen. We're gonna talk about the sunscreen. This is dermatology. I love the sunscreen. Listen, if this is wrong, if this is completely wrong, then I want someone to tell me. But hear, my, hear me out, okay? So I have the Broad Spectrum uh, SPF 45 sunscreen from Dermatology. I also have the Universal Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 46, also from Dermatology. Listen, these are both 12% zinc oxide and 7.5% octanoxate. They have just about exactly the same ingredients. Now I know you're not supposed to mix sunscreens that are different, but if they're from the same brand and they're almost the exact same thing, that's not okay. Please be gentle with me. I didn't get enough sleep. Hopefully I will have slept by the time this video goes up and I have to deal with comments, but please be gentle, okay? This is just a winning combo for me, so. Anyway, what I like to start, what I like to do when I'm gonna be wearing like dark clothing is mix them. Cause tint, like if I'm wearing white tinted, can't do it, can't do it, okay? So what I do first, especially when my hair is like freshly bleached, oh, my cap snap, is take the uh, sunscreen, which has, these are, these are a, um, what do you call that? Hybrid sunscreen. So the white cast is not like super intense but there's a little bit of one even on my skin. Uh, so I'm gonna focus this around my hairline because my hair was bleached semi-recently and put that around my ears as well to start. So just the sunscreen, not tinted yet. And I focus this around my entire hairline because I would rather have my hairline look like maybe a little too white than like brown or orange, you know? Then I typically do two pumps of the sunscreen to one pump of the tinted 
moisturizer SPF. Mix those together. I really just, I really hope that this is like okay because I love it. It's like the best combination. It's like, it actually matches my skin tone. It's really comfortable. Uh, I start off with my forehead, obviously not going up to my hairline. I'm just gonna mix it essentially into the sunscreen I already applied. And I think working in like small amounts really helps with preventing pilling. Um, obviously my moisturizer has been sinking in for like a very, very, very long time. So that also helps. You wanna make, wait like at least 15 minutes after applying your other skincare before you apply your sunscreen. And then obviously wait another 15 minutes for your sunscreen uh, before you apply makeup or go outside or anything like that. So then just making sure that it's like reaching all of the, we're filling in all the gaps. And I do essentially the same thing with my neck. So the tinted moisturizer, I would use on its own, but it just makes me look like too tan. And then my hands are dark. I mean, my hands are too light and like other parts of me are just too light. And I just can't use a tinted um, sunscreen in on every part of my body. I just can't because then it's getting all over everything. Like I just can't. <laughs> For my lips, Aquaphor Healing Ointment with SPF 30, which I reapply pretty often because it's only SPF 30. This sunscreen usually looks like kind of shiny for like a few minutes, but then that goes away and it looks just like nice and hydrated and pretty. Um, yeah, that's typically what I do. And then I will ideally reapply sunscreen every two hours. I would say I usually apply, my goal is to apply sunscreen at least once a day. And if I'm being really good, I apply one to two times throughout the rest of the day. I think that's realistic, especially as someone who like works from home and has access to it. If you work in an office, then it's just like a lot harder, you know? Or if you wear like a full face of makeup or whatever. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Here's the sunscreen in like kind of direct lighting or natural sunlight. It just looks nice. It doesn't make me look like too white or too tan uh, and nice and hydrated. I like it. I think it's a good one. <sighs> I'm dead. I am dead. Um, okay, so I only apply, I only reapplied my sunscreen once today. That's just what happened. I didn't even apply it until like noon. The sun is like just about completely gone. That's typically when I wait to wash my face so that I can like wash off all my sunscreen and whatever, I'll take a shower or whatever. Um, typically I wash my face in the shower, but I'm gonna wash my face here so that I can show you that whole process. So let's see, last night I used tretinoin. This morning, I was very gentle with my skin. Um, I try to be gentle with my skin uh, before and after using tretinoin. Another side of my skincare routine has been exfoliating and something that has made like a really big difference in my skin uh, is benzoyl peroxide in general. You might know if you've seen my other skincare routines, I have a treatment, this treatment, which is clindamycin phosphate and benzoyl peroxide uh, also. So it is 1.2% clindamycin, clindamycin and 3.75% benzoyl peroxide. Uh, this was a product that was prescribed to me by a dermatologist and it's meant to like be applied to the skin and wear all day. The Inky List came out with this cleanser, which is benzoyl peroxide. And I immediately, when I saw it, I immediately bought it. And it has essentially replaced my use of this. I use this as like mostly a spot treatment, very occasionally. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's what I'm gonna use tonight. I exfoliate, I would say I use this on all the nights that I don't use tretinoin. Yeah, all the evenings, that's pretty much that. So same deal with removing all of my sunscreen like I did the other day, uh, but I am actually going to be using another Inky List product. This is the Oat Cleanser um, Cleansing Balm. You may have seen this also, I've talked about this in other videos. So as far as cleans cleansing balms go, I feel like they're all pretty much the same, except if I'm removing waterproof mascara, then I have my faves. But um, this is like a good, a really good daily one. So once again, with a cleansing balm, can't remember if I said this yesterday, but um, if you don't use a cleansing balm, I highly recommend it. It's 
so good at breaking down all of the oils in your sunscreen, uh, removing makeup, just making sure that you're cleansing your skin fully. Like I really take my time working this into my skin so I can make sure that I'm getting every little bit off. Makeup eraser, you know, the tint. So one of the reasons that I like to wash my face in the shower is because uh, LA water is just terrible. It's so terrible. I got a shower head filter. So my, my water in the shower is actually like nicer. It's actually softer and more gentle on my skin. Obviously you don't wanna like be washing your face with scalding hot water. So I just like turn it down. This is something that people are always like really stressed out about when I say that I wash my face in the shower, but it's actually quite, it's quite simple. It's an easy thing to do. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the benzoyl peroxide cleanser. This is 5%. Um, what I like about it is that it's something you wash off. So it's not sitting on your skin all day long. It's way less irritating. I'm gonna just like work it into your, it says to work it into your skin for like one to two minutes. So that's what I do. Um, especially focusing on area in areas where I tend to get breakouts, which recently have been like my nose and kind of like my chin. Temple breakouts used to be a really big problem for me and they have essentially like gone away. I really just don't get them anymore, especially since I started using this cleanser. One of the reasons that I like it so much is because it's not sitting on my skin all day. So it's a little bit higher percentage. I work it into my skin for a couple minutes, rinse it off, and then the rest of the day, I'm minimizing, or night, I guess, whenever I, I use it, um, I'm minimizing the amount of product that I'm actually putting on my face. So less chance of pilling, um, and the fact that it's not sitting on my face all day just means that there's less chance of irritation and dryness. But I will say I was already used to my treatment before I started using this. So if you do get it, I would recommend using it like one or two nights a week, especially if you have sensitive skin and kind of like building it up, you know, like with any exfoliation process product. Okay, and I flipped around my makeup eraser. I'm using the opposite side, the other side to make sure that I'm getting all the edges off which um, is completely unnecessary because I'm about to jump in the shower, but <laughs> whatever. Um, okay, I washed my hair, so I'm just gonna let it air dry. Not that that matters, but I just wanted to explain. <laughs> uh, so tonight, very easy. Medicate peptide. I basically do like a dropper of this, a whole dropper of this um, for my face and neck. And once this starts to absorb, like once my fingers are no longer like smoothly running over my skin, it starts to get kind of tacky. That's when I apply my moisture. See, <laughs> now it's kind of sticky. So now I'm just gonna go in with the Aven, Aven Clean It's Hydra moisturizer. And I like to put it on my fingertips. I put like big dollops, but I put it on my fingertips so that I'm applying evenly and also gently. And I apply this everywhere. I do use a separate, this is probably way too much moisturizer. <laughs> I do use a separate neck cream, um, which I forgot to show you last night. So I'll show you that tonight. And I wash my ears, put sunscreen on my ears. So I moisturize my ears. So I just like to use something that's like really hydrating for my neck. I usually use the Skin Fix Barrier Cream. It's kind of like my go-to for absolutely everything, but it, it Cosmetics recently um, sent this, the Beauty Sleep, what's this called? pillow cream and it is really really hydrating and like nice so when I get something and I don't want to use it for my face because I already have a routine that works for me I usually save it for like my hands or my feet or my neck or whatever so oh and I'm gonna slather this shit by the way just saying you see you see how much I'm putting on too much I know that <laughs> and I focus on like my neck and like right above my collarbones because I'm gonna put on like a regular body moisturizer also. Um, I'm just putting a little aquaphor on. So that is that until a little later tonight. <sighs> okay, it's like 10 p.m. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> I don't even know how I made it this long. Um, so tonight, typically when I do my like exfoliation with the benzoyl, benzoyl peroxide, I never say that correctly. Um, this is the night, my off nights, uh, my tretinoin off nights, I guess, uh, are when I use my CO patches. Uh, I've been using this for like, probably
probably going on two years at this point. I use them about three or four times a week. I have the brow lift one and the, um, these are for smile and under eyes. I just use my them for my under eyes. So the way that I use these, the best way to use them is on clean, dry skin. Obviously I applied, I applied moisturizer, like however many hours ago that was, probably a lot. The reason I do that is so that my skin can like fully absorb that moisture. And then before I apply those so that they stick well, I usually just take a little like toilet paper square, get it wet, and then I'll just remove in the area where I'm gonna apply the patches, I'll just remove any excess moisturizer. So it's been obviously absorbing for a while, but removing the excess, like anything that's sitting on top of the skin makes these stick way better. Um, and I would say I get, like I said, I wear them every, I wear them like three to four times a week. And I would say that they last at least a month for me. Maybe a month total, maybe like ever so slightly less than a month actually. Um, sometimes they like lose their stick a little bit quicker. I'm gonna apply the forehead one first. Um, so the reason that I started wearing these was because I noticed that when I woke up in the morning, I was like furrowing my brow and also like raising my eyebrows a lot when I was sleeping. <laughs> Cause like dreams can be crazy, dude. And I would wake up with like really deep lines in my skin and I didn't like that. Oh, this one is a weird shape, <laughs> whatever. So I'm just gonna put it right between, it's not so sticky that it like rips out your brow hairs or anything like that. So I'm placing it right where my like frown line is. And I just kind of like push it so there's no like air bubbles. And basically what this does is number one, locks in moisture. And number two, it sticks and it prevents me from like moving my forehead around at night. So when I wake up in the morning, my skin is nice and smooth. Um, and I don't have these like deep lines in my like frown line or in my worry lines. I also use the under eye ones. Uh, mostly just because like I end up sleeping on my face <laughs> like I can't I wish I could sleep on my back but I just can't so wearing these just helps protect my under eyes so I place them like this actually that's not true I, I use them interchangeably to be honest with you sometimes I apply them like this part in here I don't know whatever it like doesn't matter however it fits your eye shape the best and this just like protects the delicate under eye same deal, locks in moisture, but also protects. So that like, um, you know, when you're sleeping, you're not just like all messed up. Yeah, I actually don't know why I applied it that way. I usually wear it the other way, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I've definitely done both. Like these are really sticky, so they're probably gonna stay on just fine. But most nights anyway, I sleep with the Slip Silk eye mask. And this is the one that has like the impression in it. So it's like more gentle on your lashes but it basically covers them both, which just helps to keep them in place, especially as they start to like lose their stick and effectiveness. So it just kind of helps them like, I don't know, last longer, I guess. Anyway, now I'm ready for bed. So this morning I'm going to um, just wash my face and neck with this guy from Aven, because it's super gentle. I recently started using this um, cleanser again because I bought it when, um, I was using, when I first started using tretinoin and my skin was just like experiencing a lot of uh, irritation. And I wanted like a nice cream cleanser. I have like a million of these makeup erasers because um, I use them, sometimes I use them multiple times a day. So it's just nice to have. I got them, um, well, I got some at Sephora. I worked with them at some point and they sent me um, a bunch as well. They have like a little travel pack Nothing in this video is sponsored, just like, so you guys know, but they have like a little travel pack of like mini ones that's, I think there's seven in there. And I always bring that when, um, when I like travel. I'm usually not gone more than like seven days. Okay, so daytime Medicaid, peptides again, face and neck. Sometimes I forget to use this eye cream. <laughs> Sometimes I remember, this is the um, Age Eye Complex from SkinCeuticals. 
Um, I recently started, I've used this like kind of on and off in the past. I'm, I want an eye cream. I'm gonna use like that much between both eyes. I wanna use an eye cream. And I know that like they're not necessary exactly, but I'm trying to find something that's gonna like hydrate my under eyes and keep them, I don't know what, what I'm looking for to be completely honest. Anyway, I just started recently using this again when I remember to. Boo, are you hungry? Boo. <laughs> I know, hold on. Okay, once again. <laughs> once again, a Ven Clean and Hydra. Just little bits, little bits. On my fingertips, little tiny peas on my fingertips. Want to make sure that my skin is hydrated, but I also don't want to apply like way too many products. I want to let this shit sink in while I go feed the cats and make coffee. Um, quickly, the way that I clean my CO patches is uh, I just use a little bit of dish soap, Dawn dish soap, and then run them under warm water, and then I just lay them out on like a little piece of paper towel or something. And um, when I'm finished with them. Oh, I'll show you that because uh, I don't know if I did. And then once they're dry, I will put them back on this little card that um, they came on. And yeah, and then I'll use them. I usually use them Saturday and Sunday night. Coffee has been drunk. Cats have been fed. I edited a little video. Sunscreen time. <laughs> um, truthfully, this is happening. I'm realizing that I'm applying sunscreen later and later. And I think I need to change that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to use the Dermatology sunscreen, not mixing it with the tinted because today uh, my workout clothes, I picked out like a white sweatshirt type thing. I can't, can't wear tinted sunscreen with that. Skincare has been marinating for a very long time, so I'm feeling very comfortable. Putting on, it's a new, this is a new one. Being able to put on sunscreen without having to worry about pilling. Don't never forget your ears, you guys, never forget your ears. And this is why a cleansing balm and also taking a shower, washing your, my face in the shower is like my ideal because I get all up in my ears. So I probably use three to four pumps for my entire face. Maybe it's more like two to three pumps for my face. And then, I don't know, four pumps total for my neck, three to four pumps for my neck. You just want to make sure that you're like, Evenly coating everything. And then you know what? I'm taking one more pump. Especially around my eyes, because I kind of feel like I didn't apply as much there. So this leaves like the tiniest bit of a white cast. It makes my skin look ever so slightly more pink than it actually is. <clears throat> which kind of bothers me because it makes my hair end up looking like more yellow. Um, but I just washed my hair last night and toned it. So it's not that big a deal today. If you're super fair skinned, then you wouldn't really need to worry about it, but it will show up as like a little bit of a white tinge um, if you're like medium. And then I would like to hear from people who are like medium deep to deep skin. If you've used this, you would probably like the tinted uh, moisturizer better which is, um, cause this is SPF 45, but the tinted one is SPF 46. And I'm gonna try to reapply twice today. That's my goal. Not just once, but twice. Okay, Aquaphor, lip protectant, SPF 30. We're sun protected. Friday night, uh, it was the same essentially as Wednesday. I took a shower already, washed my face in the shower. I used the Inculus cleansing balm and then that then anti-rouge or whatever, however you pronounce it, uh, cleansing lotion. And now I'm gonna do the same old thing. So my peptide serum around my eyes and mouth. Skin Fix Barrier Cream. And then my Aquaphor Healing Ointment to finish those areas. 
Now my technique is the same, but I'm using a slightly higher retina, ret retina, <laughs> tretinoin. Uh, so this is the 0 0.06 one that I was originally prescribed. So I just, I have them both. So I am just using them because I have them basically. Um, so I'm only using this twice a week. So same deal though, pea-sized amount around the outer perimeter of my face for the most part. Bringing it in ever so slightly. One pump of my Skin Fix Barrier Cream in the center of the face where I didn't apply the tretinoin to begin. So in the sensitive areas of the face. And then one more pump and applying that in the rest of the areas. So where I did apply tretinoin. And then sometimes um, if this absorbs and like in an hour or so, my face feels like I just need more moisturizer. I'll go in with one more pump, just kind of all over everything. Once everything feels like it's kind of like absorbed. Yeah, I might do that because I am using more, like a higher percentage of tretinoin. So I don't know, we'll see. Oh yeah, neck cream. Thick ass layer of the It Cosmetics pillow cream. That's the only thing, name that I know it by. See about that concludes Friday evening, with the exception of my body moisturizer, the skin, uh, advanced clinicals retinol, which I'm about to use. So I'll see you in the morning. Uh, okay, today got away from me like real quick. It's Saturday. I um, filmed all day long, uh, and I didn't even realize until I was just like streaming on t on TikTok Live that I didn't film anything. I basically this morning, because I was filming, I just woke up, rinsed my face with some water, like typical, and then um, I put on the Pixi Clarity Lotion, which was a new moisturizer. It's a water-based moisturizer, oil-free, that I have been kind of like testing out. And I've realized that I really like using it as a base for makeup. So I'll like, as my essential, my first base for makeup. So I'll apply that first, let that sink in. And then when I do my makeup, I use a primer, something a little bit more hydrating. And that combo has been really nice. Uh, it's a good moisturizer. It works well with my sunscreens, like no pilling. So I have a feeling that uh, it's gonna be a good summertime moisturizer when I'm just like more prone to oiliness. What's today? Saturday. So. On the weekends, I usually use my CO patches, so I don't use my tretinoin on the weekends. And that is usually the time that I will cleanse again. So in the evenings, I will cleanse with the benzoyl peroxide from the inky list. Yeah, which is what I did. So I did the same thing. I used the Elemis, Elemis, is that how you say it? Cleansing balm to remove my makeup. And then um, I did the benzoyl peroxide wash work that into my skin for about a minute or so, rinse that off. And then all I did was apply my Aven Clean and Hydra. That was it, super simple. Uh, tonight I'll do the same thing with my CO patches where I'll like remove the excess, pop on the patches and head to bed. Just a wild Saturday night up in here, okay? I just woke up, uh, I'm gonna take these off. So I just wanted to show you in like better lighting with the zoom. When I remove it, how like smooth my forehead is. <laughs> so sometimes when I get up, people ask about like breakouts and stuff. It doesn't cause breakouts at all for me. Um, when I wake up, sometimes you see these little like spots because of like uh, the moisture that's been like kind of held there. As long as I'm exfoliating regularly, Zero breakouts, zero breakouts, especially because you're putting it on the clean skin, so you're not like trapping any product under there. Um, and then also, same for this. Like I'm not, I don't have these like deep lines up in here um, from like being mushed against my pillow. And I do sleep on the sleep and glow pillow, but I do end up on my face a lot anyway. So um, yeah, just wanted to show you that up close. <laughs> in like not my shitty bathroom lighting. 
Okay, um, I'm going to wash my face gently. Uh, sometimes I rinse, sometimes I use the Aven anti-red whatever cream cleanser. Today I'm gonna be using the um, Aveeno Common Restore because I need something that's gonna cleanse my skin a little bit more because uh, I did, I did um, so I bit my lip like four times last night, so it's like super swollen and painful right here. Um, I did the like self uh, contouring with self tanner the other day, and it wasn't like it didn't show up that much. So I want to try it again. So I just want to make sure that my um, skin is nice and cleansed. Uh, so this is like something that I would use that I think is like because it's more of a gel rather than a cream is like a little bit more cleansing but it's still really gentle, which is nice. So today is just a regular day. It's Sunday. Um, I'm gonna be just editing most of the day. Uh, I'm probably gonna like go for a walk at some point. So I will be going outside. So um, after I do the self tanner thing, I will be reapplying moisturizer and sunscreen. <clears throat> when I'm smart, I remember to turn off the water while I do this. So the reason I'm using something really gentle this morning is because tonight I'm gonna be using my benzoyl peroxide wash. And typically on Sundays, I, I usually I film on Mondays. I'm not filming this Monday because my schedule is kind of like messed up, which is why I filmed yesterday. <laughs> um, but typically on Mondays I film. And Sunday night is the night that I dermaplane. Um, so what I'll do is basically just like cleanse my skin the way I typically cleanse my skin cleansing balm and then some kind of a cleanser. I try to avoid using benzoyl peroxide typically before I do that kind of thing because I'm already, like the dermaplaning is exfoliating. When I get out of the shower, I will dermaplane. Um, if you don't know what dermaplaning is, it's basically like a super fine blade that exfoliates and removes like your all your peach fuzz. Um, and I started doing it just because like, I have a camera all up in my face, you know, and like, little hairs on my nose and stuff were bothering me. It's definitely not necessary. It is a nice exfoliating thing. And then I will do a sheet mask. So again, maybe tonight I'll, maybe tonight I'll do that for you. She will only drink out of the sink or the tub. <laughs> and usually she'll only do it if I'm petting her. regret doing the self tanning contour it looks a little bit too much but it's fine so it's been a while my moisturizer is marinade did um i'm actually gonna try a different sunscreen this morning now i've had this one from kula for a little while it's the refreshing water cream sunscreen so this is a chemical filter sunscreen most of the time chemical filter sunscreens they irritate my eyes I've had this for a while and I've just been wanting to try it and I just know that there's like a possibility that I'm gonna have to wash it off my face because it's gonna start stinging my eyes. <sighs> but we're gonna try it anyway. It's blue when it comes out, but I appreciate that it's the um, squeeze top thing. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about it. It feels kind of gritty. I'm like, is that my skin? No, that's a sunscreen. There's like grit in it. I'm gonna use this around my eyes because the whole point is I want to see if it's gonna irritate them. Because if it doesn't, well, I don't know. It looks really oily, so it might just be way too oily for me. <laughs> never, never try a new sunscreen, especially if it's chemical filter, and then just like go out. Because one time I did that, I was trying a new sunscreen it was a chemical filter sunscreen and I put it on and like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes later, I was like, I'm gonna go to our local coffee place and pick up coffee and I started driving there. And as I was driving there, my eyes started stinging like insane. Like I was blinking like crazy to keep them from watering. Um, I don't know how I was even, even able to like make it home. Luckily, it, the coffee place is really close. I think I've told the story on YouTube before, but um, luckily the coffee place is really close. So I was able to like get there and get back pretty quickly um, because otherwise I would definitely have had to like leave our car there and, and take an Uber or called my boyfriend or something. Okay, so far so good, no stinging. 
definitely like dewy looking not like so greasy but a little bit greasy um i'll keep you updated on if i start to feel any stinging or anything it is spf 50 which is really nice so kind of hoping it works out quick update um i touched my eyes <laughs> It's been an hour and a half and now I'm starting to get that like really annoying stinging. It's not like the worst that it's ever been, but um, I need to wash it off immediately. <laughs> um, okay, Sunday nights are a little bit different because sorry if that isn't kind of annoying. It's not the fan, it is my boyfriend's taking a shower in the bathroom next to us. Sunday nights are a little bit different because I dermaplane typically because I film on Mondays. So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. I cleansed with a gentle cleanser did my same old, same old. And I can't remember the name of this. I was literally trying to think of it. Oh, from Stacked Skincare. So this is the handle of it. And then I have two different sizes. So there's the large one and then this little one for detail. The large one is um, not serrated. It has like a, it has like a, this kind of thing that happens where it's like more protective on your face. And this one is just a blade. So you want to be a little bit careful. But I usually start off with the smaller one first. And you basically just go like at an angle against the skin and it removes any peach fuzz and um, essentially the top layer. I like to do it on dry skin because I feel like it glides better. I've seen people do it with oil, um, like applying a little bit of oil. But for me, that just kind of like, it doesn't really work. It just kind of end up, ends up like skipping over the skin and I, I'm more likely to cut myself. So you want to be careful. But yeah, I usually do like the detail stuff around my eyebrows first, and then you can switch it out and put in the larger one. And it's essentially the same concept. You just want to make sure that your skin is like nice and flat and taut and you go in like short little motions. And I do this around my whole face. If you ever see like a tiny little nick, <laughs> That's what it's from. Okay, when, I'm, when I finish with that, I always apply a sheet mask. I like these ones from Dr. Jart. Forgot the name for a second. Uh, any of the hydrating ones, I've got the ceramide, the hydro solution, and then the vital hydro solution, or soothing and then vital, I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna use the vital one today. And then I just, <laughs> such a tiny mouth hole. Um, I just leave this on while I apply my body moisturizer and then finish off my skincare. Okay. So I actually prefer to rinse this off um, because I feel like the mask has done what it's gonna do. And I just don't want it like interacting really with my other skincare products. Um, so I'm just gonna rinse it off. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Aven Clean and Hydra. Like always, I'm gonna apply a little more than usual because I dermaplaned and I just need hydration, you know? Typically, if I'm like, sometimes I do extractions, I have this little kit that I bought on Amazon of like an, ex like an extraction kit. If I do them, I would do it tonight but I actually have a dermatologist appointment tomorrow. <laughs> so I just kind of want to like leave my skin in its own state um, so I can hear what she has to say. But basically what I do is I sanitize with like rubbing alcohol before and after I use the tools. Um, all right, I'm gonna end this here because Monday and Tuesday are basically just repeats of Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, so you've already seen it basically. I hope this was helpful to see like skincare and how it kind of is the same but changes throughout the week, depending on like what a schedule or like what my schedule is like or whatever. Uh, like sometimes things come up, sometimes I'm only able to apply or reapply sunscreen once. Uh, you shouldn't beat yourself up about those things, but you should be like trying, you know? Yeah, I don't know. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions about like my prescriptions or whatever, I don't know. Um, I guess if you have tried any of these products, uh, maybe like what your current go-to is, I feel like there are a few things that I'm still kind of trying to tweak, but like I said, I have a dermatologist appointment tomorrow, so we'll see. Um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.